So we even arrived at um, the boulders. There was a campsite here. You can stay overnight, but it's so popular. But check this place out, guys. It's nice to swim. And as we were going in, no? Why? Because we are in crocodile country. Yes. So apparently this camps are quite strong. Um, looks not too bad, actually. That like the camera. What's that? Look. Step into the water. Go for a nice swim. That's it, Kev? No, no, no. What's that? Sunstar. <laughs> not worried about the crocs. This is croc country. No, I'm not worried about the crocs. There's one. Oh, it's beautiful though, isn't it? Beautiful. I'm glad we come up here. That's probably why it's called the boulders. Yeah, I thought there was a series of boulders that you could sort of stand with. We are at the boulders. The binder. The binder boulders. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, the bin binder boulders. And we just had a look at the uh, the swimming pool. Um, maybe in a couple of hours when the sun comes up, it might be worth a swim because it's quite a nice area. And now we're actually going to go and find the boulders. We think. <laughs> well, there's still one in the water. The water looks very clear. And we're up then... incredibly early. We are. My phone doesn't wake up, so, so I set my phone so it switches off overnight, so I don't get any phone calls at stupid o'clock in the morning, which of course in the UK is not stupid o'clock in the morning. Um, and my phone wasn't even awake when we left this morning. And it only just woke up now when I put the drone up. So just so you know, you can also like set your phone so it goes like into like rest mode, but you can also put your phone if you're in a different location from the UK, you can set your phone so any like cold callers can't get through as well, which I discovered last night after I got a cold call. And I said to the guy, I'm in Australia. He went, oh, do you not live in Lincolnshire no more? I went, no. And he went, oh, you can set your phone and blah, 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 so you don't get no cold calls. Thinking, yeah. And I forgot to tell Kevin when I come back from the loo. But there's a few mozzies around. I should have sprayed myself. But it is what it is. And... This area is known for cassowary. Cassowaries, yeah. Cassowaries. So we're hoping to see some. I have to say, there's a really beautiful part of um, tropical Queensland here. And you can camp here, free. Um, I don't know how many nights. Most places it's a maximum of three nights. But it gets really stuffed up. So we parked about 15 kilometres um, on the other side of the road which didn't take too long to get here. Hopefully the sun come up. As you can see, um, it's just 8 o'clock in the morning and we're in t-shirts and we've been in t-shirts since we've been up half past six. Last night we slept with the van door wide open because it was too hot and the back door's open ajar as well. And um, yeah, you'd be surprised the kind of noises you hear at night time. Oh, all the um, wildlife.
Well, Kevin just said to me, there's the things you've got to keep out for. So there's a spider dangling down on our web. He's just walked through too. I said, oh, films are not poisonous. He said, of course not. I said, how do you know? And he's just grinning at me. You don't know, do you? No, I don't know. He's just but... trying to appease me. Yeah. But most of the poisonous ones got hide. Yeah. Well... And, yeah, live underground. Or, or, uh, they don't tend to hang around in the air. Yeah, this is the man that turned around and said, well, the monitor was a tree crocodile. And I'm like, what? <laughs> he knows I'm a bit paranoid now. I know we can't keep saying it, but the wildlife in Australia is just amazing. Um, I'm more than sure we see some of this stuff elsewhere, but uh, not um, some of it for sure. But this wasn't a planned trip, and I'm so glad we've done it. And if you're thinking, how can nobody not plan to go to Australia? It, was, it wasn't on our radar, not for the time being. But because we've gone to Australia, just cross the water, New Zealand, just cross the water, why not? Any hits with that, my love? No, no. Glad you came? Oh, absolutely. Come again? Absolutely. Yeah. Was we nervous coming? Oh, yeah. Well, one of us was. Oh, hello. Hello, how many times did I say to you, how do you feel about going? You said, oh, I'm a bit nervous. Oh, yeah. It wasn't... Well, yeah, so don't blame it all on me. No, no, no. So the nervousness was, because our original plan was to come up the coast. And if you have a look up the coast, most of it is fairly habit habited, inhabited. And it looked fairly busy. And you know us, we're, we're a bit sort of wild, don't we? And we like it sort of so we can just park. And, and it was fairly obvious you couldn't really park anywhere you wanted to and it was fairly regulated but now we're here on the ground and the fact that we started at the top and coming down and we cut through um, the inland highway which is mm. very much very much wilder than the, the coastal area so coming back down New South Wales and Victoria around the coast we'll see, we'll see how it goes but it looks fairly busy yeah so he's, he's claiming he was nervous because of the parking <laughs> No, not the parking, but not, not nervous, but no, it was nervous is the I wrong I think word. it was a little bit of apprehension because it's not what you you know sort of thing. Yeah. And and there was a few people saying, what do you want to go to Australia for? Oh, everything said Everything could sting you, kill you, what have you. And the amount of people said, oh, watch out for crocs. But like being here now, you seriously do need to watch out for crocs. Um, I mean, it'd be nice to see a croc. Oh, we have seen crocs. Oh, yeah, on a boat. Where do we know they are, but you know. Uh, I'm content with that. You think I want to see them in the real life? Oh no, you can run faster than me. You look at me, chubby Absolutely. ass. <laughs> so you'll be all right. My daughter says run in zigzags. No, it doesn't work. Well. Because that, that's how they run. Yeah. Either way, um, it's not my intention to come face to face. I look at this with a crop. Yeah. I mean, so far, the most dangerous thing we found in Australia is a kangaroo. Yeah. And that's because they jump out in front of you. And you're driving. Whack you out. So as it happens, there's 2,700 different types of spiders, and only two are venomous for humans. And that is the, the Mount Sydney funnel web and the redbacks. They're the only ones. And regarding the bird life, 40% of the bird life you'll see in Australia, you will not see anywhere else in the world, which I think is pretty yeah, amazing. Just hold it to the plank. So to make our day complete, we're hoping to see, at a distance, a cassowary. Look it up, it's like an emu on steroids, and it's quite colourful on the face, and a bit prehistoric looking. <laughs> It's the world's third largest bird. Ooh, third largest bird. So obviously the largest is the ostrich, then the emu, and the cassowary. So we are now at Josephine Falls. This is Wurrunuran National Park, as part of the boulders is in the part of the National Park as well. And we have a lace monitor. That's what we think we saw yesterday. A musky rat kangaroo. Which could be that thing that was yeah. in the undergrowth. Yeah. So it's a 700 metre truck. Let's see what's what. It's my 
be our first glimpse. Oh, that pool looks amazing. You see some humans queuing up to go down the slippery bit. Summer, they do have um, lifeguards on what have you. Um, apparently there are 15 deaths here so this is why they'd be wary but here you can't, it's a bit like New Zealand, you can't sue people or you, or you was full enough to get in the water and you take that chance. But there you go. You know what England would have been like? One death, that's it, dot com, nobody. But yeah. Slippery rock, submerged hazards, strong tides equals 15 deaths for this one. And that is we're togged up in a probably quite a strong suit that's gonna um, stop him getting bashed about or raised up. Stop, take care, stay alive. Yeah, yeah. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. I think so far my favourite waterfall that we've seen over the last few days. The sun was out, I'd be in there. No, it's not, that's not amazing. It's just amazing! Can you imagine coming here in the summer though when they've not had the rain? It's going to be a bit of a disappointment, but it's just glorious, I love it. Hello, I hope you're all doing all right. So we have come to the sea. Look, this is a bit of an inlet. So all excited, the weather's not too bad, a little bit humid, let's go for a swim. But guess what, why can't we swim, Kev? Well, we've got a double whammy here, we've got crocs. It is Queensland and it is tropical. And we've got stingers as well. What, this time of year? Stingers? I don't know, but the warning says that. I don't think stingers will be this time of year, but I'm just like, what? And then the lady was saying it's a bit cold for them and they're a bit dormant. Well, and she says it's a bit cold to go swimming. I'm like, we're from England, love. I'm never too cold to go for a swim, she says. And then over there, Laying on the beach are crocodiles. Well, bits of wood anyway. No, they're not wood actually. They're rocks. <laughs> <laughs> but one of them, if you look, there's one that kind of look, looks look like got the markings of a croc. And there's a sea out there. So maybe we might be able to get out and walk around. What do you reckon, Kev? Yep. And they call this place, or the next bit around, Turtle Point. So Turtle Point. you never know. Yeah, and can you tell me a bit like the back campsite? Um, so it's a first come first served, rock it up in the middle of nowhere or on the end of a long road. Uh, it's twenty-two dollars a night, and you go and see the coast card. Yeah. And maximum stay is four nights, and you can pay by cash or card. Yep. And what facilities? They've got, they've got toilets and showers here. There you go. 
So you get some money for your, your dollar. Yeah, so that's not bad. So that's, that's about 11 quid a night. So that's for two, two adults and four children. Cheap. So I just had to look it up because there's just so many different seas around Australia and oceans. So this is the Coral Sea. So somewhere out there, somewhere, is the Great Barrier Reef. It is huge. Um, maybe we'll get a boat at some stage to see. Come here. Put your finger in the hole. I'll tell you what, <laughs> my fingers ain't working. You put your dick in there. <laughs> put your finger in the hole. Because you know there's going to be a crab in there. Well, there's going to be something in there because look, you dug yourself mm -hmm. an hole and dug out some stuff. I don't mm -hmm. know what's <laughs> You should have heard what she said to what she was going to do to me this morning because of her dream. I never said I was going to do anything to you. Not at the time. Later on in the day, I did. I had a dream, I had a bad dream about Kevin doing a dirty on me. He would never do that. No. Absolutely. And uh, what she said, I did up squeaking like this. <laughs> yeah. But I wasn't, yeah, I don't know. Oh, I wouldn't. It's not worth it, is it? Blokes, if a woman says it ain't worth it, don't believe her. For a woman, it's always worth it. What, cutting your gonads off? Oh, why would I do that to you? No, but, but uh, women are. Can do that. You know, you always say that they're they're um, psychopaths in hiding. No, serial killers. Serial killers in hiding. We're not hiding. We just don't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, have you seen the lovely scenery? You know, that's going to get a bit bad. Aren't you? <laughs> They sit in the rock and ponder. Who don't want me? This is, this is how I make the coastline to be. Yeah. It's like this and smooth and you can go paddling in the sea and all of that. Yeah. I'm going to sit here for a minute. I feel compelled to sit. Just for a minute. My thoughts in New Zealand. Let's, let's, let's get real. We're not even in New Zealand. Sorry. Australia, absolutely love Queensland. Beautiful, beautiful, very tropical. Yeah, very tropical. So we're here in the winter, so we haven't got the issue with sand flies. Mosquitoes a few when you go in the jungle, but apart from that, no, apparently it's too cold, but this is like a summer's day in um, the UK. The people on the whole are very friendly. Customer service is very good. It's quite affordable once you get here, I would say. Um, fuel is half the price of what it is in the UK. The wildlife is amazing. We've probably spent more in Australia on campsites um, than any other country because what's happening is <sighs> this time of year, there's no holidays as such, they're finished. Um, but people from the south come up here, so it, it, it's never a quiet season. There's never a quiet season. So maybe before it gets really, really hot before the kids go on holiday and everyone thinks from south it's too hot for going back, um, possibly. But um, yeah, I think one lady said, um, I phoned up and I said, you got any vacancies? So that was in June. She said, I've got nothing to the end of um, August, mid-September. So that's probably their quiet time. Yeah, so that's when it's going to get really hot here, probably just before the kids' winter holidays. Um, would I come back again? The country is just too big. It's the size of Europe and then some. So I would say definitely yes to see different parts that we haven't seen. Um, I would per personally would fly into Darwin um, in the winter and then go down the west coast down to Perth and then from there make a decision where we're going to go and that could take you six months so yeah I would definitely would come back would I recommend people come absolutely absolutely um, motorhomes are just as expensive as what they are in New Zealand roughly about a thousand uh, a week and that can be pounds at some time of the year and mostly that's dollars but that's you know you get what you pay for but yeah, it's really nice, really nice. I really, really like it here. Um, more than what I thought I would. 
it's a lot of driving. Don't, don't kid yourself that it's not. It's a lot of driving, a lot of driving. How do they drive? They're not too bad. They're not too bad. So yeah, that's my view. I'll get Kevin to give you his view. Um, not now, but soon. What did you see? Huh? Oh gosh, yeah, can you see that? Just about see that. Gold. I'm assuming it's gold, I don't know. Yeah, I'll say it is. So there is gold. There is gold in this region, but it's so fine. Let's try and get it. Wow. Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> So that's it for another week guys, I hope you enjoyed our long but really nice day and um, we hope you do subscribe and join us again next week for some more adventures in Australia and I hope you enjoy the scenery as much as we are. Take care guys, see you soon.